Hey, how is it going YouTube? Today I'd like to show you how to install F-Droid on your Android device. If you have an idea what's F-Droid, let's say that it is a Play Store alternative which provides you a lot of uh, false application and softwares, so free and open source. And actually it has also many information about the software such as the license used and it warns you whatever the software actually uh, I don't know sends your data or it's not completely free etc anyway I'm going to show you this later okay whoops on the right screen on the right uh, yeah window you can see my uh, my smartphone actually I'm streaming the screen of my smartphone so the installation is super easy you just want to check on your Android settings you may want to have should be around yeah on security if you have it actually I'm not using Android I'm using Flyme which is like a Chinese operation system because I have a Meizu phone smartphone and it uses Flyme but it's based on Android so should be almost the same anyway go settings then as I say it should be on security something like that and you want to turn on the unknown sources in here all right as you can see yes then you want to go on the fdroid f-droid.org website and just download the package Yeah, just once. So let me see the downloads. Okay, it looks like I already downloaded it three times. Tools, downloads. So let me open f -droid. as you can see it opens the package installer then you want you want to check whatever you want you need to uh, for example auto launch I don't need it and then you want to install it this is play store free it's no no play store it's being used right now so it's a great alternative to to Google uh, software and uh, platforms that they, they give us. Okay, it's installing right now. As you can see the version, they still developing. Uh, yeah, it's like, zero uh, dot one dot hundred whatever anyway it still is uh, feature rich it has like 2000 or even more uh, packages software to install all right i just install i'm going to open it i'm going to show you what i use normally right now as you can see it's updating the repository Actually, you can't see because it, as you can see here, there is something on my phone. It's dark, but here it looks like it's transparent. Anyway, just take a few seconds to updating the repositories. It's four megabyte anyway. As you can see here, maybe it should be black or should be actually dark. But it's white. I have no idea why. This transparency, maybe it's not working as it should uh, during the stream. Anyway, here it's downloading and updating. So just wait a few seconds before uh, using it.
Okay, saving application details. There it is. All right. Now you have all your application you can choose from. As you can see here, there is what's new, recently updated, uh, games, graphics, some different categories, whatever you like the most. You also have installed. I've installed already some stuff because I was using it for a week or so. Actually, you will have on the install tab, you will probably have some stuff that you install on uh, Play Store. And uh, in some cases, you want to actually uh, uninstall from there and reinstall them from F-Droid because you you won't be able to up, uh, to update them from you by using F-Droid. So if you're trying to update them on F-Droid and you get uh, an error or whatever, just don't uh, delete them from the Play Store and reinstall them with F-Droid. It's no big deal. All right. Then go to show you a very useful settings that I normally use. So just go settings. In my opinion, it's great. Only Wi-Fi, absolutely. Check it, even if I have no credit on my phone. But anyway, it's the same. And I want to use store, which is a great option to have in my opinion. So it will download on uh, using the Tor uh, network. Okay, so right now let me just um, install something. For example, completely random. Let's go on reading. Be Bible reader, maybe not cookbook, French Chinese dictionary. All right, I just cool reader. So I'm going to show you how to, how it is. As you can see here, you have the, the different sources. You also have some information here. I'm going actually to change something that so it's, you can see it better. I'm going to change the theme a little bit darker. Okay, perfect. Now, for example, if I check Firefox. Okay. As you can see here, it tells you on red what's the problem with Firefox or what's not really great for a free and open source software, such as this app promotes non-free add-ons. This app tracks and reports your activity. The upstream source code is not entirely free. So as you can see, it tells you what's Whatever there are some stuff that you know are not very great to have on a free and open source software. Okay, let me just install um, DuckDuckGo, whatever. All right, if I try to install now, as you can see, it doesn't work. It tells me unsuccessful. That's because I have to turn on Tor. All right. So the Tor actually is it, it is here. It's called Orbot. So you can first install Orbot if you need it. And then you can run it. I have it. Nope, I have nothing here. So let me open it. Let me start the Tor browser, the Tor network. Should take a few seconds. Now it's started. And now you're able to install using the the Tor network. So let me actually install IceCat. So literally try it. As you can see now it's working. So if it's not working, just make sure that if you check the Tor, use the Tor network, make just sure that the Tor network is actually turned on. And the application or bot is official from the from the Tor website, so no problems at all. I'm going to show you here the the website. Actually, you can browse for 
all your application also in the using a standard browser you know desktop computer and everything and there are many many applications to try out there are no votes something that's different uh, between the the play store there are no votes so you have to know what you're uh, installing but i guess that's all right you probably if you're using Android, you know what you're doing so you don't need a vote by someone else to judge uh, a an application let's say before you install it i actually i'll tell you some uh, apps to install that i think they are great one is antenna pod for podcasts and by the way it's not there anyway let me turn on the right window as you can see here it download the package and you have actually to install it with the package installer so I'll just uncheck auto launch install it Takes a lot, no idea why. Okay, there it is. You just wait a few seconds and then you can run the application. By the way, you can run from your desktop, but you can actually just wait a few seconds that you're able to run from Android. And there it is. If you want to remove an application, just press here the, the bin, the dust bin you can see on the right of where available is. So I'll try to press it. And then you, it asks, if you want to uninstall the app, etc. So that's it. As I say, I'm going to suggest you some uh, apps, software. Actually, one will be AntennaPod, if you listen for of many podcasts. That's what they do, and it's great, really great uh, free and open source uh, application to manage all your podcasts, download them, stream them, etc. Another one, by the way, it's Tor, so Orbot, and also the browser, which is called Harfox, which is not here. Probably I installed it uh, with Play Store. So if you want to use the Tor network on your uh, Android, you actually need Orbot to actually access the Tor network, and then you can you need a, a browser such as Orfox. Let's see, then there is this FTP server, primitive, primitive FTPD, which is a super easy server without ads and everything. And that's it. MUPDF, which actually lacks some feature, but still fast and uh, yeah easy to use as it is on Linux and then there are some other applications that you can check all right that's it hope it was helpful and if you're looking for a Play Store alternative and in my opinion it's very important to look for alternative especially if it's against the huge Google monopoly there is this half droid to try out all right I'll see you next time guys bye bye